Hello there folks, this is Real Honesty with John Ritlin. I'm John Ritlin, and <clears throat> this is the video that I haven't done before. This is an unboxing video where I got this, give me just a second here, I got this massive box, look at this thing, I got a massive box here, I actually have two, of TNA merchandise. Uh, TNA apparently brought, uh, they brought Don West back to do a massive fire sale, the Don West brown bag special where they put in assorted items. And before they used to put a few assorted items in there, a DVD, a t-shirt, an item, or two DVDs, a t-shirt, an item for a certain price. And it would be a good deal. Well, TNA is either having a fire sale because Anthem wants them to, Anthem is planning to liquidate all the assets of the company and then put them under or something. But all I know is that they had um, brown bag specials that have been going on since, I believe, the 16th of January, so almost two weeks right now. And it was five DVDs, two random t-shirts, and three random items that they just threw in there, all for $19.99. I'll give you an example. So in this box alone, I got four. Now I want you to take a look at this, and I hit any information of mine. 8780. 8780 for all that stuff. And that's including tax and the shipping actually was free. You can pick a you can pick an option where you actually get um, you pay for shipping and you might get it quicker. But considering I ordered this stuff the 17th, it shipped the 20, it shipped a week later, <clears throat> and I just got it today. That's actually pretty good. So thank you, Impact Wrestling. I'm gonna get on with the unboxing here and I'll see how long this video goes, and I might just do a second or third part. So anyway, here we go. Let's see what we have. So I'll be reaching off camera here occasionally. So let's see what we have for items. Hmm, let's see, we got t-shirts here. Uh, we have we have a Wolves t-shirt. We have the Wolves, I like the Wolves. I think the Wolves are a very good team. Actually, I think they're a very good team, even if I've heard Davey Richards isn't exactly the best stuff. Best, um, best, uh, you know, guy, maybe not the nicest guy, who knows though. And they even sent some brown bag specials. These will actually be nice shopping bags. I actually have three of these. So that's kind of cool. I really like that. That's really, really awesome. Thank you. Um, uh, this is an Eric Young beard. Why plastic? I, I think it's a beard. I don't know. It could be a bad Zorro mask, I suppose, if I really try it. Um, but yeah, the Eric Young beard. That's kind of cool, though. I really like that. This is... <laughs> oh my god, guys. Does anybody remember the main event mafia? I mean, look at this stuff. Oh my god. The main event mafia. Um, I enjoyed that gimmick. I thought that gimmick was pretty fun. Um, let's see. Man. I mean, I don't even know what this is. You guys are gonna have to, you guys are gonna have to help me out with this one. D-T-O-M-A. Man, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I am trying to think of it or whatever. I know something about Impact Wrestling, but no clue. But hey, that's cool. Cool to always have an assorted hat. That's all awesome. Uh, let's get to another t-shirt here And we have a oh nice I have I have an Austin Aries t-shirt That's really cool. Um topical considering he's been in uh, NXT for a while So let's see we have um, a banner of sorts and let me just open this here. So I apologize if you guys Are gonna hear you know some unwrapping here in fact, I'm just going to get a pen out, so I apologize if the camera shakes just a little bit. So let's see what's in this wrapping. This is some sort of banner. It is a Gail Kim, um, huh. It is a Gail Kim banner, which, let me see if I can get this right. I can't really do this all that well, but here we go. Not the best, of course. Not, not the, I'm not the best at working with it, but hey, that's cool. Gail Kim's a very beautiful woman and really awesome. Her and Robert Irvine are a really great couple. So actually, I could put these up on, I could put these up in my room if I really wanted to. Let's see what else we got here. It's kind of exciting actually doing this kind of video. I haven't done anything like this. So let's see. And okay, so another banner, I think. And oh god, I have a feeling this is a Jeff Hardy banner. Oh sheesh. What is this? Hmm. 
Yep. Oh yeah. It is a. Uh, it is definitely a Jeff Hardy banner. Yep. As you can tell, Jeff Hardy. This is, I believe, from about his 2014-2015 run. That is really awesome. And let's get another thing here. Wow, I got a lot of DVD. Wow, I didn't realize how many DVDs. DVDs they still had left. Let's go here with another banner. And. Hmm, let's see. I believe. Let's see, I'm going to take a look at this name. I believe this is another, no, let's see, what the hell is this, hmm, looks American, is it another Jeff Hardy banner, or is it Aces and Eights, oh, let's take a look, <laughs> let's take a look at this stuff, I'm not really sure, huh, let's take a look at this name here, oh, it's Angle, oh, okay, I couldn't quite tell. The banners are really hard to really hard to you know, discern the difference there. So let's see. Let's check out with another T-shirt here. Oh, nice. This is one of Jeff Hardy's more toned down T-shirts. Look at that stuff. That's really really cool. Really like that. I don't know what these are, and I'm not sure. I want to know. I hope it's not any female items. Um. Hmm. What the? Oh, they're Jeff Hardy. Oh, they're, they're, they're Hardy armbands. Oh wow. Oh look at this. At least I hope they're Hardy armbands because I, otherwise I don't want to know what they are. All right. Let's get some more. Wow, I got a lot of banners here. Damn, they must be desperate to get rid of their banners. Huh. Oh great. Oh boy. Hey, shout out to shout out to Derek here on this one. Hey, look, Derek, look, it's Angelina Love and a uh, wait, is that Angelina Love or I know it's Velvet. Yeah, that is Angelina. It's the Beautiful People. Uh, not the big, not the biggest fan of the Beautiful People. I mean, they both blocked me on Twitter, but then again, I kind of gave them ammunition too. I never tweeted directly to them, but I haven't been complimentary of them. They aren't bad people or anything by any stretch of the imagination. I've just never been a fan of their gimmick. So actually, this video is running a little long here. I might have to do a part two here. So here we go with, who the hell? That's SoCal. No, it's Brooke. Oh, it's Brooke, cool. Yeah, Brooke's really hot. Brooke, Brooke Test Mocker's awesome. Let me see, yeah, it's Brooke. Brooke Test Mocker is cool. That's really awesome. That's really awesome. I think they've actually done a pretty good job here with these unboxings. That's really good stuff. I would have bought this stuff for like you know twice the price or you know about twice the price it was. But hey, the deals were too good to pass up. And let us take a look here. Uh, man, what the hell? I don't know what I I don't I I don't know what this one is. I can't even I can't even read it honestly. All I can just tell is that uh, let's see. It. Oh, oh, it's a Bobby Roode one. Oh, it pays to be rude. Okay, cool. Nice, I couldn't tell what the format, that's really cool. Yeah, Bobby Roode tearing it up in NXT right now. Tore it up in TNA for a very long time. Lo uh, one, one of the longest reigning TNA era champions. I think he's still the longest reigning TNA era, era champion, but I'm not sure. And let's take a look here, it's a wallet. It is a wallet. It is an Aces and Eights wallet. Um, that's fitting for all the money that that, you know, gimmick used up. Um, to be fair, there was some good talent, despite the fact that Wes Briscoe was in it. I'm not going to knock Garrett Bischoff, because Garrett Bischoff at least looked like he was trying. Um, Wes Briscoe doesn't know how to try anything. Well, anything good, at least. And let's do this here. Um... I mean, I mean, come on, man. I mean, a bromance keychain. Actually, I don't mind the bromance. Jesse and um, Jesse, Jesse Goddard's and Robbie E. Actually, a, a really, actually, were a pretty underrated team. They're really good workers. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So anyway, here we go with this. I 
Okay, I'm assuming that these are Jeff Hardy sun. These might actually be Broman sunglasses. I'm not really sure, honestly. But hey, uh, we'll get the rest of these shirts. And oh, look, there's some more assorted items here. One of them fell out of the thing. Oh, an Aces and Eights. Uh, I mean, keychain. I guess I actually could put that on my keychain. That would be kind of cool. Or right, here we go. Let's get some more shirts here. And oh, nice. Nice, the Maximum Impact 7, which the Maximum Impact Tour, I assume, is their UK tour, which that's really cool. They should tour the UK again. The UK fans are really, really passionate. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Let's see. We do what we want because we can. Oh, boy, the Beatdown Clan, because, I mean, I, li I like Low Key, and I liked MVP especially. I thought he deserved better than that, and here's the back of it. Um... <clears throat> I thought that they were they deserved better than they got, uh, but then again, using Hernandez when Hernandez's contract was uh, not exactly um, up yet, that wasn't a good uh, idea. And actually, you know what? I like this one. I like this one. It's the 10-year anniversary of TNA, which I really think is cool. I actually that that was back when TNA was good, and TNA actually, to be fair, even now is still pretty good, but they're not great. Uh, they need some. They need some help. But anyway, so here's this, and let's see. Actually, what is this? And a bro, a bro man's t-shirt. So if you if you want to fist like two dudes, then you could do that. So actually, let's see. These DVDs are going to take a bit of time to discuss. So actually, now nah, you know what? I'll just discuss them really quickly. Let's see. Victory Road One Night Only tw uh, 2016. Uh, that's kind of cool. I mean, I haven't been able to watch that one. Then Lockdown uh, uh, T uh, Knockouts uh, Knockdown 2016. One Night Only. Um, despite the fact this is here. A World Cup 2015 One Night Only. Um, it's kind of weird taking a look at a lot of these guys, including Manic and a few others that are no longer with the company. But, you know, they, I got this here. And let's just pull out some more. And actually some pretty damn good ones. Turning Point 2005, that was good. You had a really good match with uh, AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. And um, Abyss versus Sabu in a barbed wire match. That was really fun. TNA No Surrender 2012, that was also a really fun event. That was actually, that was that was a damn, damn fun, um, damn fun collection of matches. It was when TNA was still more on fire. Destination X uh, 2008, when they had Cowboy James Storm playing a bit cowardly. Um, and they had Black Machizo versus Pete Williams. You had um, <clears throat> the Angle Lions, Angle, Tom Coe, and... Angle Tom Cohen Styles versus Samoa Joe, Christian Cage, and Kevin Nash. Yes, that was something that actually happened. Final Resolution 2005. That um, it had guys like Roddy Piper, who is no longer with us, sadly, a, a special guest referee for Jeff Hardy versus Scott Hall, because that was a great idea in 2005. It did have a great Ultimate X match with Petey Williams, um, Chris Saban, and AJ Styles. Bound for Glory 2009, probably one of the best Bound for Glory events ever. It had, it had a great full metal mayhem match with four tag teams, including British Invasion, Beer Money, Booker T, Scott Steiner, and Team 3D. Um, not everything was great, but it did have Angle versus Matt Morgan. Matt Morgan should have won that match, and AJ Styles versus Sting. And let's get the rest of these DVDs here. You had Hard Justice, Hardcore Justice 2012, which sounds like a porn name. TNA Genesis 2013, uh, when Bully Ray was really on fire at that point. Sacrifice 2014, that was when they had Eric Young pull the Daniel Bryan thing and not make him his own character. Slammiversary 12, uh, Slammiversary 12, which actually took place just a couple months after, uh, after uh, Sacrifice. A one night only extravaganza I actually had uh they had Chavo Guerrero Jr. had Jerry Lynn on the card, which I thought was really nice. And Slammiversary from the year before, where you have Bully Ray against uh Sting, and I believe that was Sting's last chance to be the champion. Otherwise he would if I remember right, I think if he lost he could never get a title shot again. Um the original TNA DVD that they did for the best of Jeff Hardy during his first run, which had that and a really weird music video as one of the extras. 
one night only a Joker's Wild 2 tournament. So, hey, cool. I mean, including guys like Samoa Joe, who's no longer with the company. A one night only Hardcore Justice 2. God, so many one night only DVDs that they kept producing here. Let's see. And a twin pack. It was Turning Point 2010 and Final Resolution 2010. This is when TNA was doing everything they could to push their stuff out the door. Um, some of those matches actually were pretty damn good, I remember. And we'll get with two more here. Um, let's see, a World Cup 2014, which had various teams here. And actually a pretty damn good set. It was Samoa Joe Unstoppable, the only Samoa Joe DVD set that they ever did. So that's my first unboxing. Um, sorry if I stumbled a little bit with some of that stuff, but I was trying to get the banners to actually show up on camera. So yeah, sorry if some of that stuff didn't show up on camera, but I am shooting it just on an S7, so forgive me. But I hope you enjoyed it. I would recommend you guys take advantage of this stuff. I got some of the shirts a little bigger just in case they shrink, but check it out on Impact Wrestling. Check it out on ShopTNA.com. They got some of that stuff still available. It's such a great price. All that was $87.80. Now, I don't know about stuff in the UK, and I don't know about Canada, but in the US, I can't imagine your shipping would be that much. It's a damn good deal, so I would recommend checking it out. And I mean, because TNA had TNA had some good moments, still has some good moments going, and that's some pretty good merch. Not ever, never every bit of it, but quite a bit. Anyway, that's what um, that's what I got. So, what do you what do you guys think? Have you guys gotten any stuff from uh, TNA? Make your own videos. Comment to me and tell me what you got. My Twitter handle is also in the description. It's been real honesty with John Rithlin. I'm John Rithlin, and I'll see you soon.